We simplified the installation process for 2013. The new process helps ensure that ATX installs using the right setup for your office. One of the most important items to keep in mind, though, is making sure your hardware and environment meet the system requirements to optimize use of ATX 2013. We conducted intensive testing of these system requirements to ensure the best possible experience with ATX. The closer your systems are to the recommended requirements, the better ATX performs. Read the recommended requirements shown on screen. If you want to see the minimum system requirements, click the link in the accompanying documentation. We've also changed the network architecture this year from a shared file to a client server. This means that you should run ATX on a dedicated server, not on a peer-to-peer -peer network. If you have a peer-to-peer -peer network, you may be able to designate one of the computers as the server, as long as it meets the minimum requirements for servers. See the system requirements for more information on the new network architecture. Before you begin installation, find your activation code on your fulfillment confirmation slip. Find the slip in your ATX 2013 shipment. Before you install, close all other programs on the computer. ATX 2013 only installs to your computer's primary hard drive. In order to follow standard software best practices, you cannot change this location. You can, however, change the location to which ATX 2013 stores data files. Install ATX first, and then see the Knowledge Library for information on changing the location of stored data files. Depending on your computer setup and the method you use to install, begin installation. If you need tips on how to begin installing, see Help or your Getting Started Guide included in the software shipment. When you begin installing ATX 2013, the Install Shield Wizard displays the Welcome page. Click Next to begin installation. The ATX 2013 Install Shield Wizard displays the license agreement. Read the license agreement. If you agree to the terms, select I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click Next. The Install Shield Wizard displays the What's New in the ATX 2013 Installation Process page. This page gives you information on the changes we made to installation for this year. Read the information and click Next. The Install Shield Wizard displays the Select Your Install Type page. Here, you can choose whether you want to install to a standalone computer or a network. Choose Standalone if you prepare tax returns on one computer and you don't need to share client data with any other computers. If you have a single computer, single user office, this is the right choice for you. Choose Network if you intend to share client data with other computers and you store that data in one location. After you click Standalone for the install type, the Install Shield Wizard displays the Confirm Your Install Type page. Verify that Install Shield Wizard displays the install type you need and click Install. The Install Shield Wizard runs the installation and displays the progress bar on screen. When the installation is complete, click Finish. If you did not have the correct version of .NET Framework on the computer, the Install Shield Wizard installs it. This extends the installation time and Install Shield Wizard prompts you to restart your computer. ATX completes the installation. After you click Network for the install type, the Install Shield Wizard displays the Select Your Install Type page. For a network, you should choose between three types of installation. If you install to a network, remember that you should install ATX to your server first. Because of this, you should usually use either server only or workstation and server first. If the computer to which you are installing is only a server and you will not need to use it to prepare tax returns, choose Server Only. If you are installing to a computer that you will use both to share client data with other workstations and to prepare tax returns, choose Workstation and Server. We've made a change this year, so you won't have to map network drives when you install ATX to a server. This is a step you won't need to take this year. After you install to the server, you'll need to install to your workstations. When you're ready to install to the computers that you'll use to prepare tax returns that need to access the data from a different computer, choose Workstation. Another change we've made this year is that you won't need to run Net Setup on Workstation computers. Remember, first you'll need to install ATX on the server. 
For purposes of this video, we are installing using Server Only. After you click Server Only for the install type, the Install Shield Wizard displays the Confirm Your Install Type page. Verify that Install Shield Wizard displays the install type you need and click Install. The Install Shield Wizard runs the installation and displays the progress bar on screen. When the installation is complete, click Finish. If you did not have the correct version of .NET Framework on the computer, the Install Shield Wizard installs it. This extends the installation time and Install Shield Wizard prompts you to restart your computer. ATX completes the installation. Remember that you should also install ATX 2013 on any workstations when you finish the installation to your server. ATX adds the ATX 2013 icon to your desktop when you install using any of the options except for server only. Remember that you should use the server only install type if you do not prepare tax returns on the server. Therefore, you don't need the program icon on this install. If you do need to work in ATX from the server computer, make sure you choose Workstation and Server. Double click the ATX 2013 icon to open ATX. ATX displays the Activation Codes dialog box. Make sure you have your activation code from either your Fulfillment Slip or the ATX Solution Center. Type the activation code exactly as it appears on the Fulfillment Slip. Click Activate. When you activate ATX, ATX opens and checks for form and program updates. In order to maximize security of taxpayer data and increase efficiencies, ATX now only allows one person at a time to log in as admin. If you use a network, go to Security Manager and set up each preparer as a user. See Help in ATX for more information on setting up users in Security Manager.